NES Tetris loads the current level's color from a table in memory. There are four colors to an NES palette, so the data is grouped into sets of fours. Only three of these values are actually red. The black value is never red. White is always in the same place and could be ignored, but is loaded to memory anyways. The table only has 10 entries, so to account for levels 10 or higher, the game checks whether the level is greater than 10, and if it is, subtracts 10 until it's under 10. The way it checks whether the level is below 10 is by checking that if it were to subtract 10, whether the value would be negative. In the case of 8, this is negative 2, so the game loads the 8th table entry. In the case of 18, this is positive 8, so it subtracts 10 and then tries again. This test breaks at level 138 because the level is stored in a single signed byte. In a signed byte, values 128 and greater register as negative, so when the game subtracts 10 from 138 and sees the result is 128, it thinks that's actually negative 127. And so, it assumes that the current level, 138, must be less than 10. Therefore, it loads that entry of the color table, thinking there shouldn't be any problem. There is a problem, being that it's loading values past the end of the table, which were never intended to be read as colors. So the resulting palettes look very strange. A small asterisk is that it's not actually loading entry 138. The colors, as I said, are in sets of four, and table offsets wrap at 256. If you do out the math, 138 times 4 mod 256 is 40, meaning that it's loading the 11th palette, where the first 10 are just the standard ones. There are only 54 glitched color palettes, and you loop back to 138 colors at level 202.